Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to download APK Time to your Fire Stick or Android TV. APK Time is an alternative app store that you can use on your Fire Stick or Android TV to download other applications from the internet, especially those which are not available in the official Amazon App Store by default. As you can see, there are apps of all kinds of categories, such as sports, tools, premium services, players and browsers, music, live, graveyard, gaming, free VPNs, essentials, entertainment, and so on. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get APK time to your device. First of all, you have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, we'll go to search on your device, and here in the search bar, we'll start typing Unloader. As you can see, the loader has already popped out for us at the bottom, so we just click on it, and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So to set up the loader, we'll go to settings. Let's do it right now. So we click on that button, the gear icon, then scroll down until you find My Fire TV. Open it, and here we'll have to enable developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Sticks, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's really easy to make them appear. You just need to go to About, from here select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now, at the bottom, for me, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And after you go back a bit, you will finally see the developer options, which have appeared. So here, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps. From here, we'll have to locate the loader, there it is, and turn that option on. So what it does? It's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's what we're going to do right now. So now let's go to the list of apps on your device, open it, and here you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use, and they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to New Zealand right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for NordVPN. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we go to the list of apps on your device, then loader, open it, wait until the app loads for you. Then here on the left side menu, it's very important that you click on home and not on browser. So once again, make sure that you have clicked on home and then here in that search bar, we need to enter a code, which is going to be two, eight, nine, zero, and seven. So once again, the code is two, eight, nine, zero, seven. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes, because obviously if you make a mistake, then the code is not going to work. After that, you have to click on go, and while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks, 
as well as please hit the like button below this video. It really helps me a lot and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now after the website has opened, we just need to scroll down a bit until we see a list of categories. And from here we have to click on App Stores. So we click on it and then we need to click on APK Time which is going to appear right here. So click on it as well. Then an Add My pop-up for you. If it does pop up, do not worry and just click on close or on X to close down the ad. So we click on X in my case and now a new web page should appear for us. Yep, which we also have to scroll down. Keep scrolling until you see the download button, which is right here. Let's click on it. And in a couple of moments, the download of APK time should start for you. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. In my case, speed is pretty fast, as you can see. Then you have to click on install and wait until APK time gets installed. After that, do not click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way we'll be able to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on our device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way you will get rid of unnecessary files from your fire stick and save you some free space on your device. And that's really important because you don't really have too much of free space on your fire stick anyway. Now we'll have to go to settings once again. So click on the gear button, go to my fire TV. Then we'll have to go to developer options again, install unknown apps. This time we'll have to locate APK time. There it is, and turn that option on, because we'll be using APK time to download other applications from the internet. Now finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, we open it, scroll down to the very bottom, and here you'll find APK time, which we just downloaded. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way, APK time is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Then let's open the app, wait until it loads for us, and there you see all the categories that are available in APK time, such as top APKs, animation, APK seekers, entertainment, essentials, Far devices only, free VPN, gaming, live TV, music, players and browsers, premium services, sports, and so on. So today you learned how to get APK time to your forest stick. Hope the guide was helpful and see you next time. Bye bye.